Hello together, we welcome to our technical session today. To create a SharePoint site using uh, the PNP PowerShell is uh, it's, it's abbreviation for patterns and practices. Yes, it's based on C, the client side object model, and that makes the life of the SharePoint administrator a bit easier. Before we can uh, create a page using the PNP, it, impo it is important to have installed the SharePoint PNP PowerShell Online module if you are working with the SharePoint Online. And uh, if you are working with the on-premise, depending on which version of the in uh, SharePoint on-prem you are using, you have to install the adequate uh, library yes and it's, it's recommended to update the version of install of the installed version uh, maybe once in the month yes let me show you how a sharepoint site look like and where we will create our sharepoint our our site here is an office 365 this is an, a sharepoint online page and in this SharePoint online page, we can then create a subsite. This is a site you can see the URL is here on the top. Now, when I open here site content, in the site content, if I open here the subsites, in the subsite you see that there are no subsites. Now, I can manually create a subsite by hitting here and select subsite and when i'm selecting a subsite i have to enter the name here like a uh, test yes this is the name of the site and i have to enter also the url like test here and i have to select the template that i want to use and also in powershell i can specify the template i can select here team site and use the permission term permissions like on the parent pages and hit on create that is the simple step i want to do through this exercise yes that we create a sharepoint site now when the site is created the site is first empty so i can open the the site and create a list a sharepoint list inside of the sharepoint site when i want to create a list i can open the sharepoint site here select on the top here on list and create a list like test list yes so I can then create a simple SharePoint list to this list I can then add a column yes because this list is has only one column here the default columns and I can then add a new column like a single line of text and this column can be called like a uh, name yes and um, if I select name single text maybe it already used the keyword name but okay then this is the color now inside of this list i can add an item if i add an item here and call this item test one yes the name can also be here like test one yes and if i hit on save then we have items in this list and all this step creating a subsite creating uh, a list in the site creating a column in a list and creating items in an existing list you can do all this stuff using powershell how to do it then after we have installed the adequate library the next thing we have to do is we need to connect to our sharepoint site that means i have to we have to run this following command i can create a variable that will have the name of my sharepoint site where i want to create the subsite in my case here i will then take the name if i want to create the subs in my site under this site then i can create here i can take the this url url and then i will put it in my command here yes then if i put it here then i have the url for the site i want to connect to and then I have to call the connect command and it will require to enter the credentials and the windows will open to enter the credentials and in the next step after I connect to the site and then 
I can go through the command to when I create the new file. The first thing I need to do is to install the SharePoint PowerShell Online. In my case, I want to use the PowerShell Online. So I need first to execute this method, yes. And in the second step, I need to set the URL of the page where I want to create a subsite. That means in my case, be on site content. Then on the site content, under the subsite, it is empty, yes. That means now I want to create a subsite here. And for that, I need to open the the, 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 the site test copy this URL and then I will put it here in the URL of the that I want to where I want that I want to use and now I can run this command yes <coughs> for the first one and I can if I start the code then it will go here create the site you will create the URL connect to the SharePoint and then I enter the credentials here we have to open the we have here to create now a list that I can call here like the template we can use different templates now we can update and save the URL here so that we can reuse it on the button. Here we are creating a new site, the, the new list, yes, on the, the site that we create here. And uh, here our list, we can call it here like um, rooms, it depends, rooms of fly flowers, yes. And then we can specify the template that we want to use. And on this level, we want to create a new column in this list. Yes, the column is fruit. And uh, then here we want to add five items to this uh, list. And you see, we have created here the five variables that we want to reuse. And we use for each yeah, to, to go to all the different uh, items in this in this collection and for each of them of each of this value we will then create a new item in this list yes then let us run this code if I show first the result when I have run the code then see here when we open now this list the the, the 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 link test when we are now here in the test we can go to site content and on the site content we can open the subsite under the subsite you see that there is a new subsite now it's called flowers and the name is flower subsite pmp like we have created and if I open the flowers, then you will see <coughs> that we have now here a new site, yes. And in this site, if I go to site content, then we have created a list in this site content. 